All right, welcome back to another episode of Lone Star Diecast Racing. This is Tommy T, and today I'm going to do another pickups video. I was going to do a race video today, but I messed up my shoulder at work, so kind of getting up and down off the floor, you know, with the track and everything, it's been pretty pretty tender with uh, my right shoulder. So uh, I did accumulate some cars probably the past couple of weekends, so I figured I'd go ahead and show you some of them now and uh you know maybe i'll do another pickups video later i haven't been really picking up a lot lately uh just due to storage reasons and um, a lot of them are just kind of like rehashes of the same models but just different paint jobs and stuff like that but there's some of them that are just really cool that i just like to pick up and maybe you know showcase in a race video in the future so well let's uh let's go ahead and get started um, oh, actually, before we get started looking at the cars, um, I want to just say thank you guys. Um, I noticed as of today, I have 107 subscribers, and that's pretty cool, man. And I just want to say thank you guys for uh, subscribing, and thank you for everybody who's been watching my videos and liking them. Um, man, it really you know it means a lot to me. I know you, 107 subscribers. I really didn't think I was going to get that many um, right off the bat like that. But, you know, I was thinking maybe, you know, just have a few to chat with and, you know, just make videos for and just kind of have fun with this. So um, I hope you guys are having fun because it seems like some of y'all are because, you know, 107 subscribers. Man, thank you. Thank you guys very much, and uh, now let's get started with the video, uh, with the first pickups I got. I'm going to start off with the new ones, and then uh, I did get some older ones, and then I did get a really cool one, so stay tuned till the end of the video, and I'll show you this really cool one that I found, that I was really surprised that I found it in a store, because this is a type of... Hot Wheel piece that usually gets bought up by flea marketers or resellers and stuff like that. So I feel like I got pretty lucky on this find. But um, let's just go ahead and get started with the new ones here. So I got the uh, 70s Charger. It's the Fast and the Furious one. It's the only one I could find like this. And you can see it's kind of it's kind of been torn. Just fine I, I you know i'll take it like it is i already took it out just to test and roll it rolls really good so there's nothing wrong with it but apparently it has a special feature why does it have a special feature on the back oh the back wheels look like they move up and down well hey it's already open so let's go ahead and take a look at it see what they're talking about Oh yeah, there we go. Check it out. See how they they bounce? I think yeah, they they say something that they kind of pull apart too, but I, I I don't know. But yeah, even the front ones. Check it out. Even the front ones got some sponge to it, so you can just yeah, it's got a little bounce to it. Yeah. So it's got like a uh, suspension. Huh, that's pretty neat. Well, it's kind of cool this one was already open, so we were able to take a look at that one. All right, moving on to the next one. We got the uh, McLaren F1 GTR. Nice like pewter, almost zamic look with uh, orange decals. It's kind of like a copperish gold wheels okay so it carries on to the uh, hood of the car yeah that's pretty cool so retro racers mclaren f1 gtr all right and the next one is a mazda rx3 i think i have a couple of these but i really like this this design because it kind of has an old this has a really cool, like, old-school, like, maybe 70s, 80s look. Hot Wheels from back then. But it says best for track. 
Well, I can tell you guys right now that's not exactly the truth. Because you see that right there? That lip? I raced one of these before when I did a uh, loop challenge with some friends. We set up like three loops in each lane. See how far the car could go. Uh, how far it would go through all the loops and how far it would go down the track. And I raced this one and the lip kept catching on the edge of the loop. And so it, it would stop at the first loop every time. So it's best for some track, not all track. All right, and the next one is a 67 Ford GT40. And it's the Golf Edition. And I mean, they, they're really doing some really good detail on some of these Hot Wheels, because like the, the headlights, if you can see them, they're kind of transparent. That's plastic. So that's pretty cool. So that's some nice white, orange stripes, or stripe on the center. And then some stripes that were all on the rocker panel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. And the next one is a Volkswagen. Coffer Racer, I think that's what they call it, a coffer. But that is really cool. See these wheels, I've been seeing these newer wheels popping up on some of these Hot Wheels lately, and man, these are looking really good on some cars. Actually on a lot of cars, I, I haven't really had any gripes of seeing these wheels on anything, honestly. But that is the Volkswagen. I have a couple of these, I think I have a Moon Eyes one, but the, the, the tail end right here drags really bad on the uh, edge of the track or, or on the end of the track when it comes down it drags a little bit so I may have to make some adjustments next car is a 2017 Ford GT it's in a light blue looks like it's in the Hot Wheels Turbo series so that's a it's got Twin stripes on the well, it's got more than twin stripes, like quad tribe stripes. Yeah. Still pretty cool. Alright, the next one is a Porsche 935. Get it zoomed out here. Retro racers. It's got a see it's got like a 35 on the side with Goodyear, Pilstein. This has got such a retro look. This right here with like the kind of like the hot pink, yellow type stripes going along the side in this type of car. This just gives it a really cool like retro Hot Wheels look. That's why I picked this one up because I was like, man, that looks like, looks 80s. All right, and the next one is a 90 Acura NSX. I have a few of these, but I really like these cars. I always thought these were kind of neat, and finding this in a, what is it, Hot Wheels J Imports. So it's a J Imports series. These are decently fast cars. These these are pretty cool. Let me get you another, another close-up of it real quick. So you got the stripe on the side, black roof, tail lights. Oh, they did the pop-up lights, that's right. I didn't have to paint those. And then the next one is a custom 70 Honda N600. And this one's in a brighter white. I had have, have one that's kind of more of a off-white, kind of like an eggshell white. But I wanted this one in like white white because that's just really cool. Yeah, it's kind of a little close up there. I even painted the headlights. And they even painted the taillights. So that's the Honda. Alright, and the next one is a Lotus Sport Elise. 
So that is a factory fresh series is what they call it. And I've seen this one before. I've seen this one in a green, I think. Green with the white stripe. This one just looks really, really cool. There we go. Get the glare off of it. Yeah, see, it's got the painted headlights, painted taillights. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that car. Now we're getting kind of like in the old school cars. Got a 47 Chevy Fleetline, but it's the Moon Eyes edition with a Goodyear stripe with the Hot Wheels logo on the side. And this is Rod Squad. See, it's got the Hot Wheel. I like the, I like the striping on the side. That's really cool. That's the roof. It's even got the visor. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Chrome headlights or chrome grill, chrome rear bumper. Yeah, it's plastic bottom. So, 47 Chevy Fleetline. And then the next one, 57 Chevy. And these are like you know, they've made 57 Chevys in so many different ways over the years at Hot Wheel. And this one's just really cool. I like the white walls. The gold paint job. God, look at the... It does pop a little bit. Yeah. Kind of get it. Yeah, there we go. Clear the plastic on the bubble. Yeah. It's even got the scallops on the roof, hood, and trunk lid. Man, that's a pretty cool car. Alright, uh, these are some older ones from more recent era. I just picked these up because I didn't have these uh, that I know of because I remember I was looking for these and I never could find one. Or find these. So this one is from 2020, and it's a Nissan Silvia S13. But I have the one that's more blue, like a blue instead of this pewter. And I really like this one. And guy at a flea market had it. He was letting him go for a dollar, so I was like, cool. I'll take him. So there's that one. It's the uh, Speed Graphic Series. And these are a couple of Flying Customs. Um, I think I have these on card, but I didn't have, because I like the card, so I wanted to keep them in, in the card, but I wanted to get a double, and these are kind of beat up, so these are going to be race cars, so I'm going to race these, and this is a 57 T-Bird, this is an older, uh, series of Flying Customs, not like super, super old, but probably like, uh, about a year, year or two old. So there's that one. Maybe like a year old. And then a 68 Nova in the green. And it's also got a really flashy paint job on it too. A good close up of it. So it's got like the scallops on the hood. And it looks like, yeah, it's got some big tall tires in the back. It's kind of offset a little bit with kind of raised in the rear end pretty cool car all right so I do have some older cars and there's just a there's just a there's like nine of them I'm just gonna go through them real quick um, it's called track aces speed blaster I mainly bought it because I really like those wheels that are on it. I wanted to see if these were actually fast. Because these wheels, I mean, look at them. Those are different. And this card, the date on this card is 2003. So this is like 2003, 2004 era hot wheel. But those wheels, man. I thought those were neat, so I was like, oh, you know, I'll pick those up. 
Um, I think I picked up another one. Yeah, they picked up like three of them that were like that. That had different wheels. So here's another track ace. And this one's called Eye Candy. Once again, look at those wheels. Those are, those are really cool. Just really unique. And these were like a buck a piece. I mean, these weren't like, you know, super hard to find. But this one's also from 2003. But those wheels are really neat. I like those off, off the mark kind of wheels where they're not off the mark, but off the wall. You know, it's just you don't see that a lot on modern Hot Wheels unless they're treasure hunts. But this one, these don't say treasure hunt on them, so or super treasure hunts or whatever. I, I really don't collect those because usually you never find them anyway at the store. So and it's not really, I, and it's not that I really, really don't want them. It's just I know. Some of them don't roll very well, so I usually try to go for some that roll pretty good so I can race them. And here's a Myers Minx, and it also has some really special wheels on it. I said I don't see anywhere where it says Treasure Hunt on it. And this card is from 2004. Let's see, there's. The list of cars for this, I guess, certain series. And you see right here, 2004. But I, I, I have a few of these loose that have some really cool wheels on them like this. Um, I, I really like these. I, I, you know, I'm also like a Volkswagen Bug kind of fan too. I use, I collect bugs and you know, these Manx cars, which are basically bugs. So, that's eh, kind of neat. Alright, uh, here's a couple more from 2003. This is kind of like the Stars and Stripes of like today's time. That's what they, but this one is called the Star Spangle 2. So this is like the set number 2, but I only got 2 out of this set. And here we go. We got the Mustang 65, hood opens, metal top, metal bottom. This thing looks like it could be a roller, man. I might save this for my 4th of July race, because I'm going to do a 4th of July race this year. So I'm going to save these. So here's the second one, and it's a 57 Chevy from the Star Spangle 2 series. It's also from 2003. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to save these and do a uh, 4th of July race for you guys. Because I think that would be really neat to have a, another themed race. Because I did a Halloween one and I did a Christmas one. So why not a, why not a 4th of July one? So that's, those, are, those are that. Those are the Star Spangled series. All right, this one is from 97, and it is the Hot Wheels 500. And it's just a really fluorescent yellow, some people would call it green, whatever. But it's bright, but the wheels look kind of neat on it. It's got the painted Goodyear wheels on it. It's got an 8 on the hood. Well, you know, I guess you really don't call it a hood because there's no motor underneath there. And it's also a metal bottom. Metal tap. And another one from 97. And this one is the Shock Factor. It's got like the old school wheels on it. It's kind of like a... Kind of looks like an RC car. Hmm... Yeah, metal top with a little bit of the blue is plastic, metal bottom. But I'm probably gonna race this one. This one's gonna pretty be a pretty cool. I think this one will roll pretty good. We'll give it a shot. And then this is from '97 as well, and this one's called the Flying A series, the Solar CX4. Now this one. Some of the older ones run a lot better, but I wanted to give this one a shot. 
I think I'm going to erase this one because this one, even though it looks black like plastic, it's actually metal. Yeah. This one is actually metal top, metal bottom. They started remaking some of these with the metal top plastic bottom, but this one's actually a metal bottom. I can tell by the bubbling in the paint. So there is the Flying A Series Solar CX4. And the last one in the regular card series, and this is a little bit newer, 2003. I forgot this was another 2003. And it's actually the 2004 first edition Batmobile. And this is the Batman that I grew up with, it was the Michael Keaton Batman. And this was the Batmobile. Yeah. That's the first edition. I think this is also... Oh, yeah. I think this is metal top, metal bottom as well. With a flat black paint job. This one, unfortunately, I'm keeping in the card. Unless I find a second one. Because this is the first edition of the Batmobile. And I, I'm a huge fan of this movie. So, And I may put this with some of my Batman stuff. So that's kind of cool. So the Batmobile. All right. Hopefully y'all are still with me. We're at the end of the video and I was gonna show you one last thing that I picked up and I don't pick up a lot of these. I only pick up ones that I really think are cool. And you know, I, I don't really care for real riders, not really because of their price or how much they are. Uh, it's just they got rubber wheels and I wanna roll them down my track and they don't roll very far because the wheels just grip. But I found this Nissan Silvia S15 with the Aero Lift, and it's the uh, Team Transport series with the real riders uh, set up with the rubber wheels and the different color wheel, like the really nice wheels, like the like you know those cars that I showed you earlier, like these kind of wheels are neat. I like them, but you know they got the rubber grip tires on them, so they don't roll really good down my track. But I have a few of these. Um, I really appreciate these because of the detail. I really, 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 really like the detail. Let's flip it over on the back because there's two more that come with the series. So you got the Mercedes-Benz uh, 300 SEL 6.8 AMG with the Fleet Flyer. And then you got a 65 Ford Galaxy with the Ford C800. That one's actually kind of cool. I, mean, I might want to pick that one up too. Because <laughs> I like that. I like, like the blue and white. That's Because it reminds me of my Firebird. My Firebird is a white car with a blue stripe. So that is the Team Transport series. So this was the one that I was going to show you all at the very end. It says Nismo on it. There's the top. Look at the back. Yeah, if you, you can see the detail on the taillights. I don't know about much of the headlights. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, the headlights are painted. And the truck looks pretty cool, too. Yeah. Oh, it's even got windshield wipers. Nice. This camera picks up a lot of detail that I can't see with my <laughs> regular eyes. So there it is, Team Transport Series. So, well, thanks again, guys, for uh, stopping by and checking out another one of my videos. And once again, thank you guys for, you know, the 107 subscribers and all the views and the likes and the comments. Uh, like I said, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, I really didn't think that this was going to be a, you know, a channel that would get a lot of attention. And, you know, I, I was just doing this to have fun with the other guys that like to play with Hot Wheels and uh, just kind of join in on the fun. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. So 
But hopefully my uh, shoulder will probably be a lot better in the next couple of days. I may uh, put out a midweek video uh, for the next race. As a hint, you see there's some trucks in the background. And there's a total of eight of them. So the next race will be a truck race. As you can see the contenders in the background on the tune-up machine. So stick around. Uh, check out some more race videos. Check out some more of my review videos, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate you guys, you know, coming by and viewing. So just remember, stay fast, stay cool. Good day.